Ford built its first experimental automobile plow in 1907. This tractor-like machine was built primarily from auto parts. From 1913 to 1917, Ford experimented further with the design of a farm tractor. In 1917, Henry Ford and Son went into full tractor production in Dearborn, Michigan, building tractors for export to England and Canada. A question, do you know why Henry Ford chose the name Fordson for his tractor? Stay tuned to the end of the video and I will give you the answer. Skipping on ahead past Ford's 8000 series to Ford's 9000 series tractors. Go on and see my video on the 8000 series tractors if you missed it with the link down below. The Ford 8000 series lineup remained the big dog in the horsepower until September of 1969. Then the Ford 9000 made its appearance. The 9000 and 8000 were similar models, but many minor changes were made to the 9000. The increase in horsepower required changes in the engine. Ford wanted to make sure the 9000 could survive the increased stress from the increased horsepower. After all, the 9000 was rated at 131 horsepower. The engine used in the 9000 was the same size as the one in the 8000, but it had a turbo added along with some other minor internal changes. Some cosmetic changes were in store for the 9000s as well. The most significant change was a new grill. One can tell how to identify an 8000 from a 9000 by looking at the grill. The 8000 has a smaller grill with vertical slots while the 9000 is larger and has horizontal slots. Both provided lots of airflow to the engine. Built from 1969 to 1972 the 9000 was replaced by Ford's 9600 in 1973. Soon, the 9600 was replaced by the 9700. In 1974, Ford's 9600 made just over 135 PTO horsepower from a turbocharged 401 cubic inch diesel engine. Minor changes were made to the 9000, increasing the horsepower rating by less than 5 horsepower to make the 9600. And here are three Fords by Speccast. They're 164 scale die cast. There's two 9600s and one 9000. We'll start off with the 9000 because he's the big brute with the duels and the cab. And isn't it look cool? The details are basically the same on all of these tractors, so we're not going to go into it on every one, but they are really awesome. You can see here it has the horizontal slats for the uh, grill here, big Ford block letters right there, and lights right there are tampos on for the cab. Little grab bar is a little piece of wire that's bent and put on place really nice. Mirror up here is an individual piece. Soft rubber tires with real nice bar tread pattern on the back and rib pattern on the front. Suitcase weights on the bracket there are just cast as one big piece, part of the tooling. It does have an oscillating axle and free rolling wheels. On this side, see the Ford lettering there on the cab. It has Ford on the hood side and 9,000 right there, just because this is the 9,000. 401 cubic inch engine there. Steps to climb up with the door here, pre cleaner, and exhaust pipe. Now, the exhaust pipe is not chrome plated, it is just painted silver. 
wheels are blue with white rims and white rims with a blue center cap on the front. Really, really good. Back here, got the Ford block lettering right there. See the back window? You can also see this big, heavy bars because that's part of the rollover protection system. Got rear lights on both sides. They are painted in white. Fenders are blue off the cab. It's also got two little marker lights up there that are tampoed orange. Well, they just painted them around with some orange. You can see the big duels back here. Uh, working three point. Well, it's really just a two point because the upper control link isn't there. Hitch is there though, where you could hook up to a nice implement. Now, around this way, Ford graphics there. 99,000 Ford on there. This is the door you normally mount the tractor on. Steps to climb up in. It's got a nice interior, no dashboard, but it has a steering wheel and a seat, and they are in black. Probably they're plastic. It does have hard plastic windows on it. Really good. Top, you can see the top of the cab and you can see the top of the hood. Underneath, this was manufactured on the 258th day of 17. So this was made back in 2017. It has spec cast there. Now, I'm pretty sure this 9000 was the Toy Tractor Times version because of the duels in the cab. And all the other versions were either 8,000s or 9,600s. Now let's go over here. On this side, we have a 9,600 with a cab. See the bar grill, horizontal bars. It has the suitcase weights, oscillating front axle, uh, rib tires on the front. Big Ford graphic there. That looks like a uh, decal. Pre-cleaner, exhaust stack. Note this time the cab frame is painted in blue while on the 9000 it was painted in white. The top of the cab though is in white. That would come in nice having that nice light color because that sun will bake through on you. Whereas a dark color, ooh, no fun. It's got white steps on this one. White rims with little blue center caps front and rear. White grab bar. Really nice Ford 9600. Graphics on the side, marker light up there, little blinking light, hazard light, and light there. Round on the back. Again, there's no upper control link, but it has two point hitch, and then there is a hitch for implements. Singles this time, not duals, but the same nice bar tread pattern, and, and there's the rear safety triangle warning that it's a slow moving vehicle. You can see the frame is right there for the rollover, and it is big, heavy, and it's blue this time. Over to this side, Ford 9600, grab bar. Got a mirror. They painted it black instead of white. White steps. Interior is all blue with a black steering wheel and black seat. Underneath, date 033818, which means this is made on the 33rd day of 2018. Uh, spec cast cast in the frame that's part of the tooling. Then on top, nice white cab, top of the exhaust stack, a really, really nice Ford 9600 with cab. Now we'll go over here, and this one here is another 9600. You can see the graphics better on this guy than on the other one. See the Ford logo, the 9600. Exhaust stack pre cleaner. Steps are in white. Fenders this time for the open station. They're rounded. You got your headlights mounted there and there. And those are little silver, little black spray masks with little silver tampos. Seat is blue this time. Operator's platform is blue. Man, those graphics are really sharp. Underneath, this one has the same date of manufacture that the one with the cab. These two came out at the same time. Tie rod there on the front, oscillating axle, bar tires, rib on the rear, rib tires on the front. Uh, two point working hitch on the back, regular draw bar hitch, and your slow moving triangle. This side, the Ford 9600 graphics, we'll tip them up a bit. The hydraulics there on the console so you can operate your remote and your lift. 
They've also got the pedals cast into the floor. Really nice. Out on the front, this one just has the weight bracket. It does not have any suitcase weights hanging on the front. Ford grill and Ford logo there. And that is three 164 scale die cast tractors by Speccast. A Ford 9000 with duels and cab. A Ford 9600 with single rears and cab. And a Ford 9600 without cab and singles. Really, really nice set of tractors made by Speccast. Now to explain why Henry Ford had to name his tractor company Fordson. The simple explanation is there was already a Ford tractor company in existence. Now for the rest of the story. The Ford tractor company was incorporated on March 15, 1915 by W. Bear Ewing and Paul W. Ford. Businessman W. Bear Ewing had hired a tractor designer Robert Kincaid, to develop his product line. But he named the company after Paul Ford to leverage the Ford name to take advantage of customer confusion with Henry Ford. The Ford Tractor Company may have also hoped that Henry Ford would pay big bucks to use his name. <laughs> But that did not work out because Henry Ford marketed his new line of tractors beginning in 1916 under the brand name Fordson by combining Ford and Son. Nevertheless, Henry Ford wanted to develop a tractor for the small farmer, but the Ford Motor Company stockholders were not in favor of his idea. So... Henry did an end run around the stockholders and created a new company to manufacture tractors. Henry named his new company Henry Ford and Son. Hence the Fordson molded into the front of the hood of the Model F and adorning tractors for decades to come in the European market. The first Fordson tractor rolled off the line in 1917. Thanks for watching everyone. Please go in and smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll be back soon with another video.